Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and Tegany doing an Endymion deck profile. So I'm really excited to do some for you guys because this deck is actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Zach. And this deck is an extremely powerful deck that actually uses spell counters. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. I get your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron. And definitely give Zach some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're playing three copies of Endymion, the Mighty Master Magician. This card is definitely a three of, and one of our main boss monsters with a crazy powerful pendulum effect, that you're gonna move six spell counters from your field to special summon this card from your pendulum zone, then count the number of cards that you control that have a spell counter on them and destroy up to that many cards on the field. And if you do, place spell counters on the cards equal to the number of cards destroyed by this card's effect, which is an awesome ability to get your boss monster out on your side of the field and also be able to pop multiple cards on the field. This card is also a walking spell trap negate, which is amazing to be able to put this card out on your side of the field so that you can have a negate. We then play three copies of Servant of Endymion. Servant of Endymion is definitely a three of as well in the deck. This card is an amazing pendulum effect that each time a spell card is activated, you place a spell counter on this card. And when this card, when that spell resolves, also when this card has three spell counters on it, you remove all three spell counters from this card to be able to special on both this card from your pendulum zone and a monster from your deck with a thousand or more attack that you can place a spell counter on, which is a great effect to get the exact monster you want out on your side of the field. You can play a single copy of Reflection of Endymion. Reflection is really good in the deck, but you just need a single copy of this card. This card has the ability each time a spell card is activated, you place a spell counter on this card. You can also remove three spell counters from this card to be able to spell summon both this card from your pendulum zone and a monster from your hand that you can place a spell counter on, which is a great effect to be able to use. And then you place a spell counter on each of those cards, which is a great ability, similar to your copy of Servant. We then play a single copy of Magister. Magister is great as a one of in the deck as well. This card is really good in the deck because each time a spell counter is activated, you place a spell counter on this card. And when it has three spell counters on this card, you're going to move them to be able to special summon both this card from your pendulum zone and one face up monster from your X deck that you can place a spell counter on. And if you do, place a spell counter on each, which is an awesome ability to instantly get a spell counter on each monster while also getting two monsters out on your side of the field. We then play three copies of Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. Mythical Beast Master Cerberus is definitely a three of the deck and a great boss monster to be able to make. This card actually helps you get to your copy of Jackal King. With this card having the ability of no cards in your other pendulum zone, you can actually destroy this card and if you do, add a level seven or lower Mythical Beast effect monster from your deck to your hand, helping you instantly get to your copy of Jackal King. This card also has a great monster effect that each time a spell card is activated, you place two spell counters on this card when that spell resolves. It cannot be destroyed by card effects while four or more spell counters are on the field and once returned, you can remove a total of four spell counters from your field and target one monster that your opponent controls and banish it face up. And if you do, this card gains attack equal to the banished monster's original attack until the end of the opponent's turn, which is a great effect to just use this card for spot removal. We then play two copies of Jackal King. Jackal King is definitely a two of in the build, and I absolutely love this card in the deck because it has an amazing monster effect that each time a spell card is activated, you place two spell counters on this card, and it also has the ability that when an opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you remove two spell counters from this card to negate the activation when you destroy that card, basically being a walking negate, which is amazing. We then play a single copy of Garuda. Garuda is great as a one of in the build, but you only need a single copy of this card because it helps you deal with back row and it's just an amazing one of in the deck. We then play three copies of Magical Adductor. This card is great as a three of in the build because this card has a great ability. Each time a spell card is activated, you place a spell counter on this card. And when that spell card resolves, and once per turn, you move three spell counters from this card to be able to add any pendulum monster you want from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect to be able to instantly get the exact pendulum monster you want directly from your deck to your hand. And I love that about this card. We then play two copies of Water Enchantress. Water Enchantress is really good 
in the deck to be able to use because it just helps out so much to be able to use the adventure package in this deck and the deck draws so much that you really only need two copies of the card in the deck but this card helps you get to your copy of Rite of Aramiser so that you can basically get to your copy of Fateful Adventure and turn the entire adventure package on. And play a single copy of Wandering Griffin Rider. Wandering Griffin Rider is great in the deck as a one-out to be able to use as a walking negate. And play a single copy of Spellbook Magician. Spellbook Magician is great as a one-out in the build to basically use this card to be able to get to your copy of Spellbook of Secret and then Spellbook of Knowledge, being able to activate two spell cards and get a draw too. We then finally play a single copy of Destrudo. Destrudo is really good as a one out of the deck because it helps us summon our copy of Ancient Fairy Dragon. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Terraforming. Terraforming is really good in the deck as a one-of, because we play multiple field spells in the deck, and this card helps us get to those field spells. We can play a single copy of Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is definitely a one-of in the deck to help us get our copy of Water Enchantress or a copy of Destrudo in the graveyard. We can play a single copy of Into the Void. Into the Void is basically a draw one, which is why we play this card in the deck, and plus it's a spell card that we can activate so we can get more spell counters on our side of the field. We can play a single copy of Spellbook of Secrets. Spellbook of Secrets is great to add a Spellbook card from our deck to our hand, which can search out our copy of Spellbook of Knowledge. Spellbook of Knowledge is really good as a one of in the build, because this card basically lets us draw two cards, which is a great effect. We can play a single copy of Set Rotation. Set Rotation is really good in this deck because we play so many different field spells in this build, playing three different field spells in this build to basically just dig into the deck to get the exact field spell we want, while also handing our opponent a field spell, which is really, really good. I love that about this card, that it basically just gives our opponent a field spell and we get the exact field spell we want. We can play a single copy of Chicken Game. Chicken Game is great to help us draw a card, plus it's a spell card that we can just immediately activate, which is really good so we can generate a bunch of spell counters on the field. We then play a single copy of Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Secret Village is amazing as a one of in the build, basically just to lock down the opponent so they cannot activate spell cards, and this card is really easy to get to in the build, with cards like Ancient Fairy Dragon, Set Rotation, and even Terraforming to help us get to this card. We then play two copies of Magical Citadel. Magical Citadel is basically like a bank for our, uh, basically our spell counters, with the ability each time a spell card is activated, you place a spell counter on this card when that spell resolves and if a card with a spell counter on it is destroyed you place those spell counters that was on that card on this card and once per turn if you would uh, activate a card effect by removing a spell counters from your side of the field you can remove them from this card instead which is a great ability to basically just use this card as a bank to hold all your different spell counters and also generate you spell counters as well and if this card would be destroyed you can actually remove a spell counter from this card instead which is a great effect just to give you a little bit of protection for this card we then play a single copy of Fateful Adventure. Fateful Adventure is great as a one of in the build to help you get to all of your awesome cards like Draco Back, Wandering Griffin Rider, and help you out a lot in this build. We then play a single copy of Draco Back. Draco Back is definitely a one of to help you get as a balance, plus it's an additional spell card that we can search that we can activate to get more spell counters on the field. We then play two copies of Rite of Aramiser. Rite of Aramiser is really good in the deck to help you generate an adventure token on your side of the field and get you to fate for adventure, which is amazing. Plus, it's an additional spell card. We then play three copies of Spell Power Mastery. This card is basically the rota for the deck, letting you search out any Endymion card you want from your deck to your hand. Then you can play, then you can count the number of Spell Power Mastery and Spell Power Grass you control or and or in your graveyard and place that many spell counters among cards you control. That that you can place a spell counter on which is a really powerful effect we then also play three copies of upstart goblin upstart goblin is great because it basically generates us a spell counter and lets us draw a card which is amazing so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck
So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with Selene. Selene is definitely a two of in the build. I actually consider playing this card as a three of in the build, but it's amazing in the deck to be able to play as a two of to help you link climb into the exact monster you want, because you can basically remove three spell counters from this card, especially when you spell cast her back from your graveyard, plus its arrows are amazing. And my single copy of Access Code to be able to pop multiple cards on the field and help us go in for game, plus this card comes out absolutely massive. One copy of Appaloosa to give us multiple monster negates on our side of the field and again its arrows are amazing then my single copy of nightmare unicorn to spin stuff one copy of exceed the pendulum exceed the pendulum is really good in any pendulum deck especially this deck and i really like this card overall in the build then my single copy of the dark charm where we have quite a few dark monsters in this build so this card helps out a lot in the deck to be able to bring back a dark monster from our opponent's graveyard so we can link climb which is really nice one copy of daybreaker daybreaker is really good as a one-up in the build and i really like this card over overall in the deck because it basically helps you pop cards on the field and then my like single copy of sp sp is great in the deck you don't have to play this card if you don't have it you can change it out for a copy of nightmare phoenix for a more budget option for you guys but it's still a really good card if you have it and my like single copy of beyond the pendulum which is another option for you guys if you don't have sp limelight you can play a second copy of beyond the pendulum if you want to beyond the pendulum is really good in the deck and i wanted to play two copies of this card but the extra deck is extremely tight so i ended up just playing it single copy but this card is great in the build to help you search out the exact pendulum monster you want from your deck to your hand and help you pop cards on the field you can play a single copy of Crowley for the Spellbook engine in the deck to basically help us get our Spellbook cards from our deck to our hand. Because this card is the ability when it's Ling Summon, you reveal three Spellbook cards with different names from your deck, and your opponent randomly picks one to add to your hand. Also, shovel the rest back in the deck, which is a great ability to be able to use this card's effect to basically get the exact card you need from your deck to your hand so that you can basically draw two. We then play a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP is great so that we can Ling Summon into our copy of Unicorn, a copy of Appaloosa during the opponent this turn or even into a copy of sp little knight just in case we need to we might have a copy of ancient fairy dragon ancient fairy dragon is great since we play so many different field spells in this deck and it's just an awesome card overall to be able to make in this build one copy of odd eyes absolute dragon odd eyes absolute dragon is absolutely amazing in this deck because this card has a great ability that when this card if this xz7 card is sent to the graveyard you can special an odd eyes monster from your x deck which helps us summon out our copy of odd eyes vortex dragon which is basically a walking the gate so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoyed this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played an endymion deck before you should definitely give this deck a try because it's really fun to be able to play to basically just generate a bunch of spell counters on your side of the field to basically use all sorts of awesome effects and it's a really awesome old mechanic that they basically turn into a pendulum deck which is really really cool so that's gonna be this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys